Hi, it's Michaela from Rev, and today we're going to talk about calibrating your Mac Swerve modules. This process is really important because it makes your Swerve drive as precisely as possible, making sure that the steering motors are all in sync and all cooperating together in your program. We're going to be using the Mac Swerve calibration tool that you got with all of your Mac Swerve modules to do this process. And all of this information is going to be stored directly onto your Spark Max that's controlling your steering motor, which is really cool because that makes this whole process able to be done without changing anything in your code. That means that you can drop in a new Swerve module, calibrate it, and be ready to go without even opening your programming. Or if you have the Spark Maxes available, you could attach them all to the Swerve module. And if you need to replace an entire Swerve module at competition for any reason, you could just take the Spark Maxes motors and everything off, pop a new one on that's already calibrated because you've saved it to the Spark Max, and it's a drop-in replacement, and you don't have to change anything on your code, which is super cool. We're going to go ahead and pass it off to Nova, who's going to tell you how to do this process. Nova here with Rev Robotics, and today I'm going to teach you how to do max swerve calibration. So the list of supplies that you're going to need is you're going to need your max swerve module, you're going to need your a laptop with the Rev hardware client, you're going to need a USB-C to USB-A cable, and then you're going to need some type of power supply. You can calibrate the module without the 12 volt power supply right here, but it is recommended if you want to have the CAN bus to calibrate all the modules at once. So we're going to now plug into the steering motor and verify that it's up to date and start the calibration with that. So we're going to plug in here into USB-C and we're going to plug into onto our hardware client. We're going to scan for devices. We're going to click onto our Spark Max steering motor, which is CAN ID3. We're going to make sure that it's up to date, which it currently is. And then we're going to go over to the Absolute Encoder tab. So now we're going to place the Swerve Module Calibration Tool. Now, we can make sure that the calibration tool is on correct is these little notches right here have to line up with the bevel gear on the Swerve Module. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that those are lined up, and then you're going to get it all the way down to the frame. Now. Your calibration tool may change if you're using a modified frame. That might cause any type of issues with the uh, setting the zero offset. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ensure that in our hardware client that the direction is inverted. Now that we make sure that the direction is inverted, now we can set our zero offset. So now all you have to do is repeat this with the other three modules. Um, I suggest looking at the documentation at docs.revrobotics.com or emailing support uh, at support at revrobotics.com. Thank you.